Oh, what's up guys and welcome another DCS mission editor tutorial. Okay so what we're going to look at now is getting naval assets to attack uh, locations on the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down an American um, ship and we're going to make sure it's, it's lethal range is within our target so we're just going to use something uh, we'll just place something down on the map. So what we'll do is we'll just place a lone Russian tank T-72B3 let's use that and we'll set it just on the uh, coast there we are our lone T-72 happy days okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to set this up okay so we're going to go advanced waypoint actions we're going to press add and we're going to go for fire at point now what we need is this triangle is where we're going to hit, so we want to put that on our target. Nice and central for a top attack on a T-72. From there the zone radius is how big the zone, basically if we want um, to hit a wider area, the bigger we make, it, make the zone. So we'll just do it so it just includes the entire tank, and altitude isn't really relevant in this instance. So what we're going to do is set weapon to auto and we can actually choose how many rounds get fired. So we're going to go for a pair of uh, guided missiles. Actually, we'll leave it set to auto. The ship can destroy, uh, can, can utilise whatever it wants to destroy the target that way. But we can specify weapon types if we want. But we know what it's going to fire anyway. So we'll set it like that and what we should see when we go into the game is... Our T-72 getting engaged by our naval asset. And this is just a really easy way, similar to utilising artillery, how we can get um, naval assets to help on our missions. <coughs> okay, so as we load into our mission now, what we should see... is our ship start to engage targets and as we can see the missiles are away and there's our two now we'll go to uh, Tomahawk view <coughs> okay so we're in Tomahawk view what we're going to do is we'll just speed time up because it's got a little bit of a journey to make And what we should see is it land nice and on top of our T-72 as it's coming up. It's now spotted our T-72 and we can see it to our front. And it's going to engage that tank. Once again you can make the area bigger, the radius bigger. And what will happen then is basically it will just give it a wider sort of spread to where its ordnance is going to go. However we've had two missiles onto our tank and our tank is now kaput. So... That was a really quick um, video on how to basically get naval strikes um, and I hope this broadens your DCS missions. As always then guys, if that has been helpful, please like and subscribe to help me grow the channel slowly and most of all, stay safe.